Hello there guys, it's Joey. So we're going to have a little witchy haul and a little witchy chat because I need it. <laughs> I'm actually going crystal hunting tomorrow so there might be another one of these videos because I've had such a week of it. Ugh. With landlords and, and, and things breaking. <laughs> um, yeah, and disappointments. I had ordered my first Halloween decoration and I was really looking forward to it because I, I really liked it and I had, still hadn't got it and I, I emailed them and as of Monday like oh we've refunded you because it was broken and we won't be getting any more in thanks UK <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess it's better than being sent a broken one but uh. and my Angelica roots did finally come this week from Star Child so there you go Angelica root not in its original bag so I'd had to wait over a month for my Angelica root they got in contact with me finally and told me they were having real problems getting their stock through for one reason or another um, but I did wait a whole month for my Angelica root it was supposed to come with my last order it was put a note on it um, that they would send it out as soon as they had one and I waited over a month and I think to be honest it's a little bit much. I was pretty disappointed. I was disappointed because the quality of the herbs is second to none. I was having this conversation with a dear lady the other day and there's, there's just no way you can get such good quality herbs and because of this I'm going to give them another shot at some point soon in the future because the herbs are amazing but I didn't get a sorry uh, not on the note anyway. I sort of spoke to him on the phone and he was kind of apologetic but it, mm, I don't know, it made me feel like I was harassing them because I wanted something I'd paid for a month ago and that's not a good feel. <laughs> I'm in business myself. If, if, you know, I would feel terrible if something took a month to get anywhere. Um, but there you go. But Angelica Root it's one of my favourites. It's the stuff from Star Child is a much better quality than anywhere else in the UK that I have yet to see. Uh, Solo Masculine Leo Fire. Uh, you can use it for exorcism, protection, healing. You can use it to honour Archangel Michael if you so desire. But it's basically a really incredible protective root and it smells divine so I did get that I, I mean the weight was a it wasn't great but I'm glad it came oh it smells so good I could sit here and smell it all day long and the second thing that I, I was a little bit knocked off about is I thought I'll try this uh, Shaman's Crystals place online because I haven't tried them. They have the same sort of herbs as the Holistic Shop and I needed some cedar which I normally order from the Holistic Shop and it was the same people that make it, the same company I think. No actually it's not. I thought it was. Never mind. Right so I ordered some cedar from them and it's by the Sage Spirit people and it's fine uh, but I don't know uh, it's not great, it's not great quality it looks a little bit old um, so that was a little bit disappointing Cedar I won't be ordering from these people again um, I will go back to the and stick with the holisticshop.co.uk because they are much better. Cedar is sun, fire, masculine, healing, protection, purification and money. Its smoke is very heavily purifying, especially if there is negative energy that's going on that's causing interrupted sleep and bad dreams. I wanted some for Luna Sar this Saturday, tomorrow now in fact, and it can protect against evil and you can draw money and, and things of that nature um, so I'm going to burn it basically um, and hope that it's it's okay in the burning process and 
there's that. So then uh, the real reason I ordered from them rather than my regulars um, is because I wanted some fire agate. And I ordered four fire agate tumble stones, grade A. They offer different grades, so the grade A is more expensive. And I originally wanted a piece from Crystal Age, and it was one piece, and I was like, oh, I can't. Four, I can get four tumble stones of grade A quality for that price, and on the pictures they look really nice. And I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just try these fire agate from these people. And... I'm going to say one of them is satisfactory-ish, which is this one. Firstly, they're really quite small given that they are three pounds each. I was like, these are supposed to be grade A. I don't think these are grade A, personally. They're small for that price. That's a lot for a tumble stone. Uh, and I mean, you see how t how tiny amount of of fire there is in any of these. I mean, this one might as well be a quartz, as might as well this one. This one is okay. So I'm going to contact them because I really am not best pleased with that. I, I they're okay, um, given that they were supposed to be grade A, and I was just freaking disappointed. I'm probably going to give them away now. I'll probably just give them away as part of the, in the store or something like that because I, unless I, they say send them back and we'll refund you, maybe. We'll see. Um, so that was pretty disappointing. So I was, pre <laughs> was pretty knocked off about it all yesterday and um, they didn't come as quickly as the holistic shop either. The holistic shop is nearly always you order they'll go out the same day or the following day and they will come the next day, nearly always. These took a couple of days to ship and then came a couple of days after, but it's not the end of the world with regards to shipping, but I was pretty disappointed with that. Pretty annoyed yesterday, I was having a bad day yesterday and my partner was like, order the one from Crystal Age, I'll pay for it. Um, <laughs> so. It's a one-off piece, and that's something I love about Crystal Age. Let's move these over here a minute, and you can see the difference for um, comparison's sake. And rather than this, obviously the stuff from the, Sh the Shaman Crystal place all came in a jiffy. Now, and um, not overly wrapped, but they're tumble stones, so it's not the end of the world. Um, the crystal from Crystal Age came in its own box. It was wrapped in a bit of kitchen paper on the inside and then very well wrapped on the outside. So this this was £12 from Crystal Age. But look. Look. Technically it, it didn't cost me anything, but... Can, can you see the energy and the power resonating from this is incredible. Now, yes, there's a little bit of white through. A little bit. That's fine. This, this is amazing. This is not. <laughs> oh, right. Um... Hang on a second, I'm going to grab my book and talk about fire reggae for a second. You look at how beautiful it is while I grab my book. Come here, book of stones. Oh, I know I forgot to bring something down. Oh, brains. Right, whenever I see fire reggae, I think of uh, the lady I know from, from Ely's store because it's one of her favourites. It's so protective. Right, come here, where are you? There you go. Vitality, sexuality, creativity, the will, fire, root chakra, solar plexus, and the sexual creative second chakra. Uh, 
Among the spiritually inclined segment of the population, there are those who attempt to or wish to avoid the messy and painful difficulties of life by escaping into the upper realms. Unfortunately, the price one pays for this sort of behaviour is high and one can become a spacey, low-energy person who glows with spiritual light but doesn't generate enough heat to get anything done. For those of us who lament that they don't like the earth don't like the earth much and want to go home, fire agate is the perfect remedy. Here is a stone that helps us to remember why the lines of people waiting to be born are so long. Fire agate awakens the lower chakras and fills one with the zest for living. It lights one's inner fire of life force, creativity, sexuality and will. It activates the senses and increases the pleasure one takes in everyday life. <laughs> Affirmation, I embrace my body and the physical world, taking pleasure and joy in all of my life. Yeah. <laughs> this crystal. This crystal, man. This crystal. <laughs> This particular one, I love it. It's beautiful. Its energy is off the chain. It's like, it's seriously, it's like, come on. It's that kind of crystal. It's get up and go and do it. And you can do your fiery protective stuff with this. Absolutely. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm in love with it. I'm going to be holding it all day. It's great. <laughs> so, thank goodness for Crystal Age. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> They're amazing. They're based in the UK as well for anybody who's interested. Okay, so a couple of bits for Lunasar-ish. Uh, you'll have seen the moulds probably if you watched the violet video. I got some of these beautiful little heart-shaped cookie cutter moulds from Tesco. I think they were by Kitchen Craft. I think that was right. That amused me because, you know, witches crafting. <laughs> I love the word craft. I use it for everything. I'm Joey crafting. I'm crafting myself. <laughs> anyway, these were one pound fifty from Tesco, and I've already shown a use for them, so I guess we don't have to overly discuss why. I really like the fact they were cheap, they were metal, and they had different sizes. So it's going to be great for all sorts of love work, you know, love work, bringing love in, self love work, that sort of good stuff. You could even do banishing. Like, if you're in a, like, a heartbreak situation, you can use them for a banishing. And the other thing that I saw, and I was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm off now. Fire agates made me go nuts. Right, is, is this. I saw some orange water. And it's with the rose water, so it's the same idea as rose water, but orange water. And I was like, oh, that's cool. That's neat. I'm going to try that. I haven't actually opened it yet. <laughs> uh, I wanted it mainly for Lunasar. I thought that the orange zestiness might work really well for Lunasar. You can use it in cooking and baking as it's intended if you so desire. I'm going to see if I can get into it. Probably not. Oh, come, come on. You could have opened a bit more than that. That's a bit better. Ha ha. Come on. Come on, Mr. Bottle. Ha ha. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> oh, goodness. I swear people must think I'm loony. I am loony. Who am I trying to kid? All right. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. It's gorgeous, right. <laughs> uh, it contains water, orange extract, acidity regulator, citric acid, and potassium sorbate as a preservative. So, we see a lot about rose water. I've still got quite a bit of rose water. I get it from the Asian section in our Tesco because they have this Asian beauty section and they, their stuff is amazing. 
and um, I was like, oh, I, I can try an orange version of rose water because you put rose water in your in your washers, right? Your piece washers, things of that nature. And I was like, orange would be amazing for like an uplifting, zesty, feel good energizing kind of wash you know for washing down your altars or your sacred spaces or your places that you clean it's sun and fire again everything apparently right now is sun and fire so apparently i'm feeling it you can use it for love divination look and money so you could add a little bit to this if you're doing like a, a bathing spell for making yourself physically appealing appealing orange uh-huh <laughs> oh god it's getting worse. This is this is what happens when you have a bad week and then all your strange comes out in one go. And and you can use it for luck. So you could do it for a luck drawing bathing thing, you could use it for a, a attractive love bathing thing. Pop some in your water. You're good to go. I thought that was awesome. And I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try it. I've never tried it before. Uh so there you go. I use you know, rosa water all the time, so that's neat. I thought it was neat. And also from Tesco, although technically not. <laughs> technically they're from the garden centre part of Tesco, uh, which has a separate name, Dobby's or something. Is it Dobby's? Yeah. And they have Yankees. <laughs> Yankee candles. Uh, so I got a rose, a fresh cut rose one from for there. And this smells really pretty. I'm not usually a huge fan of rose scented stuff other than rose water. Some things are quite nice, but generally speaking, a lot of rose scented stuff just smells like old lady to me. And I, it's probably really terrible, but um, I don't know what it is. It just, you know, but this smelled really pretty. And I was like, oh, that might be quite nice for Lunasar to celebrate the feminine aspect. And I was talking about roses in the rose video for the Luna Spell Oil about how roses are more than just a love flower. How it's about, you know, getting pricked by the thorns of that really piercing the veil and getting to know yourself and shamanic journeying and quite fey-esque energies. And I thought, you know, that would be nice for the feminine aspect at Luna Sar. And then I got this much bigger jar and I think I got ripped off I think they charged me more than they should for this this they charged like 11 pounds for no it was 11 pounds altogether hang on so that would have been two or three for the votive so like nine or eight they charged for this and I don't think that's how much this should have been it might have been I don't know it is Yankee but specifically the midnight jasmine the midnight jasmine I use for the morrigan and it has a lunar aspect obviously and the lunar aspect is something for tonight <laughs> but it's also a part of the morrigan that a lot of people tend to ignore uh, yeah er, she's the goddess of war <laughs> and that's it it's like okay then and the lunar aspect of the morrigan is often forgotten or ignored and I think that's a shame. I, she has a priestess element and, uh, you know, a a full moon, a mother element, and we should honour that. And... Too many ands. I really like the sensualness of the Midnight Jasmine. I've, I get the votives quite a lot. And I got the jar for a very specific purpose. I, uh, and... Oh, it smells so good. There you go. You can see inside now. I got the Yankee candle in the jar because right now I've had to put everything away because the landlord's been in and out with the contractors in and out and stuff and if they see a uh, overtly pagan older stuff they would flip. So right now I have to have a lot of my stuff away that I can't quickly tidy away apart from my crystals which I refuse to hide. Uh, poor things. The, the energy of them would just be upset whereas Morrigan is not amused but she understands the need for silence sometimes. So I wanted something like a candle like this that I can keep out and burn in her honour, basically. And a white butterfly just went past the window, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. 
That's cool. It smells so good. Right, the next things are free. This is awesome. Well, kind of free. Uh, my partner ordered headphones and he got these little cards with his headphones and I was like, um, can I have those ones? How awesome are they? <laughs> Day of the Dead Sugar Skulls. Aren't they neat? I really like the um, the twisting vine around here. It makes me think of bindweed, which has been all up in my grill, as people should know. Uh, bindweed is something that I have been working with and Suzanne came, kindly sent me some and it's just been amazing. It's just working with it is amazing. We'll be carrying on working with it today for a sort of journeying. So the fact that these sugar skulls kind of had these little vines on I thought was neat. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might just hang them up somewhere. I just thought they were cool. And talking of cards, I ordered a shawl from Shivana and most people who know the shawl, Shivana shawls will know and they'll be like, oh my god you didn't. I'm like, yes, yes I did. I ordered one for my birthday which is in September, at the beginning, very beginning of September and I ordered it ahead of time, technically I didn't pay for that, that's a gift. Uh, and I ordered it ahead of time to make sure it came here before the birthday because it's coming from Australia I believe and I wanted to give it enough time to get here. So that's downstairs in the birthday pile, I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> and you'll see all those, I'll do a birthday haul so you can see it but if you haven't seen Shivana haul, the Shivana shawls, they, she creates these beautiful shawls mainly with bird feathers on. I got the crow one obviously, one of the crow ones and it's beautiful silk work or cotton work depending on what she does, it's just beautiful, um, absolutely incredible. But what I can show you are the two thank you cards because I'm going to be hanging these up. Right, they are so perfect. We have the wolf and the raven. I can't explain to you how much I love these art, art drawings. They are insane. She's incredibly talented and I freaking adore them. I'm a big monochrome fan, like black and white. Technically this is black and tan, but that sort of thing appeals to me on an art style, visual level, more than anything else. Like, Generally speaking, I can live in black and white, <laughs> at least with regards to colour palette. Not so much when people start applying that nonsense to spirituality, but there you go. Um, and I absolutely freaking adore these. I mean, the, the way that the, the wing of the raven uh, just sweeps, it looks like it's dancing, it looks like a geisha movement. Uh, geisha use their sleeves in a very particular way to create a particular emotion uh, with their sleeves when they're dancing and that's what it reminds me of this very much this sort of sweeping in this this protective vibe this beautiful movement of feather and the the wolf has something almost snake-like about the way that uh, it almost here around the eyes and that reminds me very much of the kundalini energy the energy from the spine which is represented by snake which can the personal awakening of oneself and it's very head-on and it's very protective and it's very statuesque the wolf as if it's a a statue of a wolf protecting and you can't get past it that's what it reminds me of very much it's just incredible I, I will be hanging these above the morrigan altar because i love them that much once the morrigan altar is back out obviously right now everything is hidden yay <coughs> Right, apologies, that was nonsense ringing my phone. Okay, and the last thing 
that I'm going to do a proper video about this because it's the most amazing book I have read in a long time is this. This is Witchcraft Medicine, Healing Arts, Shamanic Practices and Forbidden Plants by Claudia Muller, El Billing Christian Ratish, Ratish and Wolf Dieter Stroll. And I'm going to do a proper video on this because <laughs> You can see the tripod feet. Oh no, the magic! The magic is gone! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this book is insanely good. It's amazing! I'm going to do a proper review for it once I've worked through a little bit more. And... I don't want to ruin it, actually. I don't want to ruin it and talk about it. Uh, it's just so good that... I suggest that everybody go out and buy it, especially after a particular amount of time on a path. I think it really resonates. It's incredible. And I'm not going to spoil it any more than that, but I did get that book this week. I was super happy it came. Right, that is it. <laughs> That's enough madness for one day, I think, and it won't be long until there's a load of noise in here anyway. So I wanted to get these videos done, dusted and up. There won't be any videos now until at least Monday, and possibly longer than that, because of the fact that my house is not my own right now sadly but love to you all have a wonderful lunasar and full moon many blessings